Traditionally, an event of celebration as we crown the new BSB champion this weekend. It's particularly poignant as we also celebrate the life of a rider who began the season chasing that same ultimate goal, but sadly paid the ultimate price. The 2020 National Superstock champion, Chrissy Rouse, passed away after suffering injuries in race three at Donington Park a fortnight ago. Chrissy is uh, dearly remembered by the whole paddock here who are assembling behind us to pay tribute on the grid. Um, Chaps, it's a, it's, a, it's a genuine reflection of um, the person he was because he affected every, everybody. Yeah, I mean, he was a, a magnificent, magnificent rider, fierce on the track, um, and, you know, this hugely clever academic off it. He had such an infectious way about him, and it is just, it's, you know, we are all in, in shock and loss. It's, uh, you know, it, it's tragic. Lots been said about Chris in this last week or so, and more eloquently than I could probably put it, but... Lovely, intelligent, hard-working kid with an infectious smile. Uh, Paddock's going to miss him, and I'm going to miss him. Same for me. You know, what? Well, he took the words out of my mouth. There's the smile for me that, that did it with him. You know, never, never, ever unhappy. I mean, coolest school teacher in the world, and uh, yeah, just unbelievably sad loss. Well, as you can see, there are hundreds of people out there on the grid to pay their respects to Chrissy. His number 69 bike, front and centre, for 69 seconds of silence. We in the British Superbike community were devastated to hear that Chrissy Rouse had passed away. Chrissy will be fondly remembered, not just within the BSB paddock, but far beyond, beyond this. The BSB champion competitor on the track, and away from it, he was a dedicated academic who engaged people far and wide, leaving a lasting legacy. Chrissy his race achievements during a 20-year career are too long to lose, and this year he is living his dream of racing in the Venice BSB Championship. A determined, hard-working and focused individual, he took the lives of all that met and supported him. But above all, above all, he was a lovely person who will be deeply missed by all of us. Godspeed, Chrissy, until we meet again. And now, will you join us in 69 minutes of reflection for the life of Chrissy Rouse? One, and welcome back to Chasing the Racing. <laughs> Applause for Chrissy Rouse, and on the Tannoys here, the song Everlong by the Foo Fighters is, is playing, which was the song that Chrissy chose for his Super Bowl lap. At, at Cadwell Park, it's an incredibly touching moment. Um, Rachel and, and Steve are with me now. Rach, that says everything, doesn't it? Yeah, it does indeed. I mean, when I joined in 2018, Chrissy made me feel very welcome, but Chrissy was also the person that made me really nervous. When I had to interview Chrissy, especially in, in 2020 when he won his title, he used to give me such long, eloquent answers that I'd be nervous but also educated because he was such the educator himself, wasn't he? So he was always such a joy to speak to. And 
You've known him a long time, Steve. You commentated on him when he first started chasing this this dream. Yeah, back in uh, 2009, I first met Chrissy and his wonderful family. And what I really loved about him is a lot of kids, when they first start racing, are caught in the, the headlights when they're interviewed and they don't really know what to say, but Chrissy always knew what to say. And he remembered everyone who he had to thank, including Mr. Winch's teacher, for, for letting him have time off school. And then he'd end every interview with a wink to the camera. And I just, <laughs> I'll never, ever forget that. He's a, he's a superstar. And he never changed. And over the next 10 or 13 years since then, he provided so many more special memories for so many people. What a cool maths teacher. What did you do, sir? <laughs> I won the British Superstock 1000 Championship. My very last conversation with Chrissy was, um, was just before um, his, his last race. And he... <laughs> Typical Chrissy, it's minutes before he's going to race and um, he wasn't bothered whether, you know, he needed his, didn't need his own headspace, he wasn't worried about his racing. He was asking me how I was, I'd had a bit of a, a bit of a crash the week before and he was giving me advice and actually asking about my well-being and it's just, it's just how, how he was, how he was. I'm going to miss him. Chrissy Rouse, the racer, um, is the, the person that I'll be remembering for sure. Um, it comes as such a sudden shock. You always just think it's going to be all right, and then uh, yeah, that sad news come, and um, you realise you lost a, a brother and a friend, and um, an absolute fierce competitor as well. You know, like Chrissy, um, you know, such a young, beautiful, and amazing person. To us, he's just the lovable young gentleman that we all know him as. And uh, but the minute he put that helmet on, God, I don't, I don't know what happened to him because he just turns into the most aggressive, fierce rider. I'll always remember that smile he had, and he had this giggle, this little <laughs> giggle thing that he used to do. And when you look back on old videos, you hear just a, <laughs> and it's like, there he goes with it again. I think that Chrissy Rouse should be remembered for the fact that people say in life you should surround yourself by people who lift you up and I'm thankful for the lift that Chrissy gave to me and so many others in his life. Just a, just a huge character and I think it's a fair comment when we hear everybody say the nicest guy in racing really, I think that's a really, a really true statement and um, I've never, I don't think I've ever he heard him have a crossword with his parents or any family member or anybody for that matter, I think he just saw the best in everybody. I can just describe it simply by if I'm walking through the paddock and I've got a thousand things going through my head, I look up and if it happened to be Chrissy in front of me, you just can't help but stop and give a smile and you get that uh, the dialect that he comes out with and something just off the cuff and yeah, I'm going to miss him, really am. He was just such a special, special person, such a kind person. I think Chrissy should be remembered as a nice guy and a great racer. Me and Chrissy got on really well, and there's a lot of things I picked up with Chrissy with racing and stuff like that that he did that I've implemented into how I race motorbikes now. So he's been a massive help to me, and, and I'll miss him dearly. Lastly, and more importantly, um, Chrissy not only won the heart of the British Superbike Paddock. He won the heart of the whole motorcycle industry. Um, just for the, the true gentleman, young gentleman that he was. And that's how I'll always remember Chrissy. Three, two, one, and welcome back to Chasing the Racing, episode 174. Racing is definitely my biggest passion. Everything I do is to kind of make the bike go faster. It's the speed, the noise, it's, yeah, it's a really special feeling. Let it all fly. Uh, to lift the championship trophy means the world. We're good.
a big move. Chrissy Ralph takes the win from Luke Marty. Setting off the score.